But first, a Flagler County principal has resigned amid an investigation into a controversial assembly that singled out black students. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The district today saying Bunnell Elementary's principal submitted her letter of resignation after she was placed on leave during the investigation. News 6's Molly Reed has the latest from Flagler County. That principal sending her letter of resignation before the school district leaders can make their final recommendation to the school board about what to do about her job. There is still one teacher from Benel Elementary School, though, who's still on administrative leave. It's a breath of fresh air, honestly. Parent Jacinda Arrington relieved to hear Principal Donnell Evanson has resigned. Arrington's daughter was in the assembly the district is investigating and led to Evanson and faculty member Anthony Hines being put on leave. The district says the assembly led led by Hines with other black teachers helping allegedly isolated fourth and fifth grade black students to discuss their low testing scores. We're told Evanson signed off on it. She was shown the presentation prior to the presentation being put out. She was told by Mr. Hines exactly what his intentions were to round all the black students up. I spoke with Superintendent Lashaka Moore yesterday. She told me district leaders will provide their dispositions and make final recommendations to the school board by the end of the week though now it's just Hines who is still on leave. We did ask more, though, about any other teachers who may have been in the assembly. Right now it's admin leave, um, and then we're finalizing that investigation, and then we will move forward with um, discipline as appropriate at the wrap-up of the investigation. The superintendent also told us that starting today, all district leaders and school leaders will be undergoing training, and then teachers will go through it in the near future to make sure something like this never happens again. In Flagler County, and Molly Breed getting results, News 6. Molly, thank you. Tonight we have learned the school's former principal is coming back as the interim principal for the time being.